Welcome to the 2023 Virtual Emancipation Launch. Emancipation 2023. We hold on to the theme, enkindling our consciousness and continue to awaken our identity. Tap into our history, celebrate our heroes, and pay homage to the events of the past which has shaped our present and continues to build our future. By the way, my name is Ezra, your host. Ay, ay, ay. Emancipation Celebrations is a part of a three-year plan to reinvigorate the spirit of emancipation nationally, touching all walks of life through diverse programs and initiatives. Last year drew us to the waterfront with drums and dance in reverence and jauntiness, a theatrical recreation of the celebration of emancipation and a national showcase of talent. Let's recap. culmination of Emancipation 2022. The highlight for me was a drums and dance ritual with the breathtaking backdrop of the Castries Harbour. There is something special about the sea. Maybe it fossilizes our memories. Where are your monuments? Your battles? Matters? Where is your tribal memory? Sirs, in the grey vault. The sea. The sea has locked them up. The sea is history. Derek Walker. Now, in our second year observing the theme, enkindling our consciousness, raising awareness, 
educating and celebrating our heroes from a major part of the thrust to envelop a deep appreciation and understanding what emancipation truly means. Last year, we honored our hero, Petroni Dwin. Registered in St. Lucia as a slave during the early 1800s, the revolutionary Negres Maon Petroni Dwin was beaten, then brutally killed to the pillory on April 9, 1833, for the act of Maonage. Her resistance sparked protests and similar actions from the enslaved on the Fordham estate in Denry, a historical event which led to the emancipation of women slaves from punishment. As we continue to build and stand on the foundation laid by our ancestors, as a country, we have triumphed over trials. As a people, we have accomplished the impossible building our country from the foundation laid down by those who came before us. Maybe this spirit of persistence must be inherited. Here is Oshun with a classic Calypso, is the African in me. I'm a descendant of African slaves, can't you see? My man resumes and disums the roots in me. I can't pretend to be what I am not. I'm black and proud and do believe I'm hot. So those who find me brown. Talking trash. <laughs> Tell them when I let go and do so, 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 so. It's the African in me, Shaka Zulu, Umbaya. Liberty, it's the African in me. I express black beauty. It's the African in me. When I speak my mind, it's the African in me. When I take a wine, I'm African. African to the bone. Wearing that shiki all over the place. Watching Nigerian movies, this trend we embrace. To them is just a colorful garment. They don't know the that shiki represents a symbol of protest. Black person, I cannot stand up here and laugh. 
treasury has no funds. Demons squandered millions. Consultants to check grass. This man deserves a good cut ass. It's the African me, Shaka. So, <laughs> now for some facts. This launch would not be complete without some history. In 1845, a law was proposed to tax the raw produce of agriculture with the exception of sugar, rum, and other byproducts of the sugar industry. In effect, this taxed the provisions of crops and hindered small peasants while sparing the plantocracy's cash crops. There is a link between emancipation and carnival. The prohibition of slaves from different estates were prohibited from congregating. For instance, this was reiterated in 1783 and again in 1826. In 1783, carnival was specifically mentioned as a time when congregations without permission and those lending their buildings for the purpose were fined 100 and 300 pounds respectively. On the 10th of June, 1806, the Houses of Parliament at Westminster passed a resolution declaring the slave trade founded on principles contrary to justice, humanity, and sound policy engaged to institute measures for its total abolition. In 1814, a slave registry was established. The Cultural Development Foundation is the lead on emancipation celebrations along with 12 other agencies including the Folk Research Center. To give wider perspectives of the celebration, the Folk Research Center Executive Director Raisa Joseph, representing the Emancipation Committee, will give a few remarks in Creole. Mamaela Idi Quick. L'année passée, nous célébrons l'émancipation et de façon façon qui était différent. Nous avons essayé de lever conscience de cette ici. L'émancipation, c'est la signe identité nous. L'émancipation, c'est l'histoire et les de nous. L'émancipation, c'est la route là nous a continué aujourd'hui. Comité émancipation a invité tous les citoyens pour participer à ces activités d'émancipation. Mais plus que ça, pour cacher, réfléchir et puis vivre la vie d'émancipation.
There you have it. Hearing from some of the lead personnel directing and championing the cause of emancipation. Thank you. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, what does Emancipation 2023 have in store for us this year? Let's take in the calendar of events and be sure to save the dates. In 2023, St. Lucia continues to enkindle consciousness through emancipation celebrations. Be a part of this riveting, engaging, and entertaining movement from July to August. Starting with the exciting drums and dance ritual, Tuesday, 1st August, Cash Street's Waterfront at 5 a.m. Followed by the Emancipation Lecture, Emancipation Day and the Reparations Tradition by Professor of History Chris Manjapra on all media platforms at 10 a.m. The celebration continues with the second installment of the Freedom Concert, One Empire Event, Tuesday, 1st August in Fear 4 at 2 p.m. Be a part of a fact-finding adventure, our ancestors' journey to freedom, a tour and day of activities at Fort Lewis State from 10 a.m. Emancipation art will come alive with a breathtaking reveal of the Emancipation murals Friday, 16th August on Javati Street, Castries from 10 a.m. A thought-provoking panel discussion, The History of Vier 4, on NTN and all media platforms at 8 p.m. The grand culminating event, La Wars Festival Guafet in Crozelay on Wednesday, 30th August. A church service at 9 a.m., parade at 12 noon, and performances at 2 p.m. And kindling our consciousness, Emancipation Celebrations 2023. The calendar of events for this year's celebration of emancipation is distinct. It is entertaining as well as informative. There is an event for everyone. For the next three years, emancipation will be a priority for St. Lucia and St. Lucians. The government is placing importance on emancipation through dissemination of information, geared towards a celebration through a full calendar of activities from July to August. To speak to the justification of government support for emancipation, the Minister of Tourism, Information, Broadcasting, Culture and the Creative Industries, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hillet, who is a champion for the celebrations. In 2021, Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre, upon becoming Prime Minister, announced that St. Lucia will start celebrating Emancipation Day in a manner not seen before in our country. He made it very clear that emancipation must mean more to us than it has done in the past. Last year, for the first time, we celebrated Emancipation Month, not just a day. It started off with our grand cultural performance, demonstrating all that is best about St. Lucia and celebrating the fact that the slaves were freed in St. Lucia and we have inherited all the pain and suffering that they went through. This year, for the second year, we will again celebrate Emancipation Month and that the theme Enkindling Your Consciousness. For us, it is a very powerful statement that our people must come to understand and recognize the importance that emancipation has played in our history. Last year, we were overwhelmed with the level of support and expressions of participation that took place throughout St. Lucia. We want to build on that. We want to make this year's celebration even more meaningful. 
We've had more consultations with stakeholders, more consultation with communities. And this year, I promise you that the program that we will present is one which will be a very powerful statement of our commitment to celebrate the emancipation of our forefathers in a manner befitting its historical significance. So I invite all St. Lucians to be part of the celebration in your local communities or at the national level. Come out, celebrate, participate, educate, and let us make sure that emancipation continues to mean something significant to us. Thank you very much. There you have it. The Emancipation Celebrations 2023 calendar of events and activities. Be sure to attend and follow the activities and events. Again, designed for raising our consciousness and shaping our future. Thank you for viewing and goodbye. Ay, ay, ay.